Hi there YouTubers. I'm here today with my wife Heather and we're going to talk about a subject uh, called Do the Sin Prepare to Do the Time? Okay. Now, uh, and Jesus did not come to destroy the commandments. He came to fulfill the law, which is the commandments. Um, the Ten Commandments, which is the Ten Commandments that Moses gave us. Uh, Jesus in the New Testament summed it up in two. If you love your neighbor with all your heart, mind, and soul, I mean, love God with all your heart, mind, and soul, you got to remember I have dyslexia. So I'm trying to get this in order here. So that's a little bit of a laugh there. <laughs> but uh, they say if you can't laugh at yourself, what can't, can you laugh at? So anyways, so and Jesus in the New Testament said, love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Okay? And love your neighbor as you love yourself. Now your neighbor is anybody you come in contact with. Okay? When you're out running around. Um, okay, now the lamb... Uh, is Jesus was he was the lamb for us he gave up his life here on earth for us to come and live here where he to come and live for us to come and live where he is and uh, he rose on the third day after the Sabbath had ended which was on a Sunday was when Mary Magdalene seen him and uh in his new body, he was seen. Jesus then went back up into the clouds to be with us and his uh, Father and to make us a home for all those who believe in Jesus. Um, now, uh, live, uh, leaving his Holy Spirit for those who follow him teaching the good news which is the Bible now I wrote this last night trying to prepare this video here and um, so I'm gonna try to get through a little bit here real quick here now number four I wrote down in so doing this the only law he did do away with was killing animals for our sins or killing in a lamb for God, a sacrifice to God, no longer has to be done for our sins. Now all we have to do is repent and confess our sins and never do that sin again. You got two ways of thinking too, two ways of thinking processes. Um, you can think negative. All the negative thoughts that you think, think about what uh, vibe and what uh, environment that, that feels like when you think that way. It causes stress. Pain, confusion, um, you know, uh, hellish things, you know, that you, uh, those, those kind of thoughts are not good to think of. Now, if you think good thinking, a good thinking pattern it brings good, good uh, happiness, it brings freedom, peace, heavenly thoughts, and, uh, you know, so feelings of positive thinking feel better than negative thinking. How can negative thinking produce anything good why stay in that way change it to a positive thinking and that's what we're here to talk about today is um, we have free will and I prefer to read the King James Bible over all the other Bibles um, now all those that don't know who King James was he was a king in England at the time and he believed in uh, getting the word to uh, the best condition it can from the scriptures to the original scripture, scriptures which was in Hebrew writing and Greek writing he put it together he wanted it done that way he went out and found the best editors not just one editor around the world he handpicked editors to do this and to put the Bible together and to really get it the best way so that's why I prefer the King James Bible now um, we're going to open up a conversation here, um, if you want, huh? right. on some uh, things. If you do the sin, a bad thing, let's say, for example, like, you decide not to brush your teeth, well, what's going to happen, you know? 
Uh, well, we know if you don't brush your teeth, you know, you get bad gums. And consequences of that is losing your teeth. Yeah, eating bad bad fruit, you know, uh, you know bad uh, you know bad food or anything like that you know, that can cause a heart attack. You know, you eat too much meat, you eat too much. Uh, of any of that kind of processed foods out there and stuff, we know what that's going to do to our bodies. That's why the food laws in the Bible, which is the Old Testament, um, I remember the Lord said, don't worry about, you know, it, it's not what we eat and put in our mouth that defiles a man. It's what comes out of the mouth. It's what he does and what comes out of his mouth that defiles a man. And that's also in the New Testament in Matthew, if you read. So... Um, let's see here, um, well with, with, with the food loss that it's speaking about, the, they're meant to be more, I think, of a, of, um, like a, a guideline offense, you know, because God all ultimately wants us in, in optimal condition. Uh, it's just a Heavenly Father wanting us to be healthy. Yeah. And we know that meat and animal byproducts cause an inflammatory response within our body. Red meat especially um, can lead to heart attack, heart disease, stroke, um, clog, clogged arteries, um, you know, and, and that leads to triple or double or even quadruple bypass surgery. It can lead to um, uh, blood clots, you know, that can travel to your heart or, your, or to your lungs um, and, and even your brain, which, you know, is a stroke. Um, and processed foods Especially in, in, with the Frankenstein ingredients, you know, you got these ingredients, which you can't even pronounce anymore, it also causes an inflammatory reaction with our body. You know, how is our body gonna, gonna respond to it if it doesn't know what it is? You know, that, 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 that's, in essence, inflammation, you know. And, very uh, true. Very, very true. And, and also the the dairy, the the animal byproducts here, your milk, butter, cheese, sour cream, all all, all that stuff. The, the the milk is specifically made for calves. Do we look like calves? <laughs> I know I don't know what that is up with that. That, you know, I was like, drink milk, and it's gonna, you know, it's good for the body. Drink milk, drink milk, Yeah, you know? remember those milk commercials, you know, the, the USDA lies? Yep, all and then, the lies of the well, USDA. Well, then the milk mustaches yeah. and all that and stuff. Yeah, yeah. There, there was a study done that milk consumption um, is actually one of the leading causes of osteoporosis. Yep. You know? So it's, it all has to do with the TV program, you know, what are, what are they doing? I mean, when they, that too, you know, if you look at the TV programming out there, they're, they're brainwashing the masses. Basically, when TV came out, it was censored. It was more censored when it first came out. And uh, they, they didn't have, like, movies that showed so much graphic stuff in it. They were more held back, but then, the, then they just kept going with, like, a whole bunch of different products and... Uh, well, and different, different commercials and. Well, back back when women were still moderately decent and men were moderately still gentlemen, you, you know when some morality was left intact. Exactly. And it seems like the moral ethics and values of today have gone right out the window. It's it's more of the dollar bill than a human life. I know and people are more focused on that dollar bill. They get out there and they work so hard that they forget to build a life. Their family gets neglected, mm -hmm. you know. Or, uh, you know, I, what good is that money that you make when your retirement finally comes around, if you decide to retire, and you're so old by that time, how can you enjoy it? Mm 
I mean, really. I don't mean. Just try to get away from Bruce. Uh, you know. Um, I'm not saying you know. Good hard work is a really, really good thing to do. You know, I've had many job titles, many, many, many jobs in the past, and um, I was a security officer. I worked as an aircraft interior technician for a private contractor. Uh, worked up on the Minot Air Force Base. Did a lot of construction there. Um, I worked fast food. I worked as a concert. Uh, concert. Ah, my goodness, can't talk today. <laughs> <laughs> a courtesy clerk and uh, some other things so yeah I think I just got off the subject mm -hmm. so back to the subject if you uh, you know um, you know you're going to do something wrong okay let's say you know you're going to do it be, fa be prepared to face the consequences people think they can go around run around do whatever they want and not have any consequences of doing it. I know when I smoke, I know the consequences of it. I know what that does to my health and stuff. But, it, you know, it, it's an addictive thing. I fell prey to it when I was 16. And, uh, yeah, I've been trying to give it up ever since. Off and on, I've quit. But uh, always going back to doing it. But uh, getting better. Sweating it out. Don't have any cigarettes today. <laughs> so. Alright, so food, bad stuff. You know. Yeah. Um. I know that there, there are some people like us that, that are, um, either on a low income, fixed income, you know, they, they might receive um, food stamps or just not have a very good grocery budget. And, you know, it, it, it is absolutely possible to eat um, healthy on a budget. You know, you can, you can buy things like um, you know, dried, dried beans, rice, um, pastas, tomato sauce. You can even make your own tomato sauce. That's fairly simple. Um, but, um, I don't know where I was going with that. I really don't. Well, that's some really good subject matter to talk about there. Eventually, yeah. Um, but basically, um, what this video is about is just making you aware that you, you can't go around doing anything. You know, the Lord sees it all. Um, just think, you know, our lives are on camera 24-7 with the Lord. He's watching all the time. And that's not to get anybody paranoid or anything, but it's, He created us. He cares about us. Um. What I, what I think that the Ten Commandments and the other laws, you know, like, say with the Old Testament, I, I, I just think of them as, like, um, guardrail. You know, as if we engage in, in bad behavior, in sinful behavior, you know, we're going over that guardrail, well, you know, we're, we're, it, it, it leads to, um, being hurt, you know, and... You know, God doesn't want us to be hurt. Exactly. You know, you, there's a lot of examples out there. You know, um, you know, the Ten Commandments says, "Thou shalt not steal." What happens when you go out there and do that? Well, mm, you you might not get caught. You know, the first few times you do it, or you know, then that just you know. You, you, you steal something, you know, you, you, you get this adrenaline rush. Mm -hmm. Then Ten Commandments says, thou shalt not lie. What happens when you do that? Consequences. Every single thing has a consequence. Now, you you do the the good thing, you, you, you always think of God and what he's, uh, what he's doing. On WWJT, here the channel means, what would Jesus think? And it's on topics of all kinds of things. Now, in my last videos... Uh, do I believe the world is flat? Well, 
I believe that in the Bible it talks about certain things that could lead that the world is flat, whether it's round, whether it's square, whether whatever it is. But there's a lot of mainstream media out there, and it's just to get your eyes to open up and to think about um, the subject matter. Now, I put some science out there. Why would the government lie to us the entire time when we were kids in school about a globe model? Okay, and the way physics and stuff work like that. The government lies about a lot of stuff. Yes, they do. The question is, is why would they do something like that? Now we know that in the maps, if you do and you Google it, it is there. You see the pentagram. You see the set of, setup of everything. Um, so it's like, who do you run to the trust? And my point is, is you can only run to the creator. You can only run to Jesus because if you run to a human being, you run to anybody else out there, they're going to mislead you if they don't know Jesus Christ. Okay? If someone cannot say and confess with their own mouth that Jesus came in the flesh, and I believe in Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, died for my sins, and went back up to heaven, and that he is the Son of God, that he is God in flesh, and can't admit that, then, uh, you know, the best way to do it is not to push that belief on someone, but just kind of plant the seed and let it grow, you know? Have the conversation with the person, open up with a positive conversation, and then just kind of plant the seed and let it go with that. Because if uh, you try to push religion or anything like that on people, it just it just doesn't work. You know? It's just no way. Exactly. You can't force feed it. It's got to be. It's a gift from Jesus. He gives it, and they just got to receive it. Mm -hmm. They just got to receive the gift, take it in, believe it, and you're on your way. I do something about this blinds. I'm getting a massive glare on the screen. That's all right. I'll work this stuff out. And we'll have better videos to come, but this is just the subject matter on that. Um, the videos will be getting better. I'm going to be uh, working with this system a little bit more, um, uploading more videos of my own. And uh, so stay tuned here on uh, WWJT. And uh, you got any other comments? Hmm. Oh, I got tons of comments. <laughs> On the subject matter? Not really. Not really. Okay. Well, this is WWJT signing off. See you all later, and God bless. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> I just had to say goodbye to everyone. Yeah.